Hello, lovely viewers! You're watching Bipolar Opposites. I'm your guy, Tim Cohen. Okay, today, 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 today is the, the big one! Oh yeah, that's it. Finally, Dark Phoenix. Finally, 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 finally I saw it, and finally I get to review it on this show. Now, you know those people, you know, always say, Oh, it's going to be a terrible movie, don't watch it, it's going to be shit and everything. Well, I've told you many times before, if you've watched a movie or TV show reviews or whatever I review on this show, you know that I do not force my opinions on you. Therefore, if I saw a movie and I loved it and say, You have to see it because of that, or if I hate the movie and say, Okay, it was shit, none of you should see it, it was stupid, don't go see it. Me? Well... I always invite you and everyone else to come with their own thoughts on things. Because that is the way a human being should function. Not be what someone else tells them. So, let's get on some of the verdict. I didn't hate it. I liked it, actually. I, I mean, I didn't love it. I enjoyed it. I, mean, it was a, I thought it was a decent enough movie, and it was just... Had a lot going on, had a lot of Dark Phoenix, let me tell you. In my opinion, Sophie did so much better as Dark Phoenix than Famke Jansen did. But, that's just my opinion. I can't force you to think that. You didn't see X-Men Last and see Famke as Dark Phoenix, or you didn't see Dark Phoenix and see uh, Sophie Turner as Dark Phoenix, and say, okay, these two did it so differently. I mean, the whole thing on those characters was so different. Therefore, it's up to you to decide who you liked more. Well, like I said, I'm not going to force it on you. So, there were a few things I didn't like about the movie was the aliens. That's right, when they had aliens going after the Phoenix. Well, these aliens, the race was just... I don't think they ever give the race of aliens a name. Therefore, that detracted from my enjoyment. And Jessica Chastain, great actress, but her character, again, no name. So, here are characters, the villains. I don't know who they are. That, well, that detracted from my enjoyment. You know, you like knowing who the villains are. And yes, of course, Dark Phoenix is the main villain, but the aliens are part more than two, like... Towards the end, the aliens were, well, it seemed like the aliens were invincible. That was the problem with them. That took away from my enjoyment. I mean, the people were shooting at them. At one point, Magneto took, uh, like, 20 guns and aimed them at the aliens and fired them. And still, the aliens bounced right back. I mean, that, come on. You can't have an enemy that's all-powerful. It just doesn't work. I mean, even Dark Phoenix wasn't all-powerful. She had her weaknesses. Now, let's go back and talk about something earlier this season. Well, earlier this season, I had a video about Mystique dying in X-Men Dark Phoenix. Well, guess what? My theory was, well, spoiler it, you don't want to know? Turn off right now. Okay, I'm telling you. You don't want to know this is it. This is just, I say it's going to come out to you. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You don't want to see it. So if you don't want to know what's going to happen to Mystique, Tim Cohen, out. For those of you who do want to know or did see, well, you know that, yes, Mystique died. I'm not going to tell you how. That's just as far as I'm going to do, but yes, I was correct in my theory. So, go me. Well, and Quicksilver, well, let's face it. A lot of us are hoping you have a great scene like we did in Days of Future Past and Apocalypse. Really great scenes they did on him, but in this one, no great Quicksilver sequence. In fact, he sat most of the movie out. So, I mean, but I liked the movie. I enjoyed it. I did not hate it. I mean, I just, it's funny, because when I went to see it, I had low expectations. I was like, you know what, just, I'm going to hate this. Let's see, uh, convince me otherwise. Well, again, we'll say I like the movie. You can interpret that any way you want. You're probably going to be right. You're probably going to be wrong. Well, well, that's up to you decide. So, that'll do it for now. Until next time, I'm coming. Out.